Warm greetings to you. I am Dr. Pearl John from Logos Management based out of Mumbai. Welcome to the other 167. We continue our series on being salt and light. In the last episode, we spoke of H of light. H stands for hope. We said that as light, you will need to bring hope to those that you come in contact with by having your focus on him rather than on circumstances. operating with an eternal mindset rather than on an earthly reference point pivoting your strengths to your advantage rather than languishing in your weaknesses and enduring the situation with a smile rather than a scowl we move on to the last letter of light t t of light stands for transcend to transcend is to rise above or go beyond As light let us consider what areas do you need to rise above and go beyond rise above conflict and ring in collaboration it is customary when two gather conflicts emerge you cannot perhaps bypass conflict within your professional or personal context one useful way around conflict is to minimize the impact and provide comfortable space for others to navigate example at a tactical level instead of saying you did not send me the mail that you said you would you may reframe that sentence saying the mail was not sent here there is a shift from the person to the object and from blame to the issue this approach in turn paves way for more collaboration rise above complacency and usher in creativity we know that in the future most jobs will get automated and therefore success on the job is impinged on curiosity innovation and resilience to adapt to new changes a recent ibm global ceo study carried out on 1500 ceos around the world said that creativity is the most important leadership skill it is not what you know that is important it is what you do with that knowledge that is critical so as those that need to bring light into your environment you need to shed complacency and put on that thinking cap of yours and usher in creativity remember god is the creator of the universe and he is the author of those creative juices that run in your dna tap into that creative genius and let that surface in your work environment creativity is where you refuse to look at problems with a traditional lens but bring an out of the box thinking to the four let's move on to the areas that we are required to go beyond go beyond the call of duty light does not stop being light it continues to consistently be the light regardless of the circumstances those that stop within the boundaries of established job descriptions invariably set the boundaries of their growth your call to go beyond far beyond the call of duty a colleague of mine the head of professional services of one of our global strategic business units consistently would spend close to an hour post any session he ran capturing a debrief of each participant and logged it into the system this ensured he was absolutely on top of the game and his respect globally grew significantly go beyond to walk the extra mile Going the extra mile is willingness to accede to others' request and expending yourself for the sake of others. It is valuing others' requests or pleas and giving credence to them as you would to your own. My father-in-law consistently takes that extra effort to meet the desires of his interfaces, whether it be an acquaintance, a friend, or children. He is ever willing to take the trouble to make others happy. numerous instances when he would drive to the airport or the railway station to pick up friends and family which in turn strikes a positive chord the power of the extra mile is that it has a ripple effect it sets in motion a series of positive actions and reactions that the day is filled with positive iterations over and over again go beyond your limits often you are the one who sets the limits on what you can and what you cannot do very many are limited by their past remember your past is no determiner of your future when you think you have reached your breaking point 
but are willing to push and not give up you are on your way to go beyond your limits when i was called for to be part of the united nations resident coordinators assessment centers in toronto and other parts of the world i had butterflies in my tummy i had serious misgivings about my capability to assess the united nations secretary general's direct line of representatives in various countries but you know what the word of god came alive to me philippians chapter 4 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me empowered by the word i took the task and soon i was one of those sought after assessors in the global team any stretch will be uncomfortable but it is the discomfort that paves the way for growth remember the caterpillar turning into a butterfly it goes through significant discomfort but post the discomfort it is able to bloom into a beautiful butterfly so go beyond your limits let's pray father we pray that you will enable each one listening to this podcast to be so empowered that they transcend their life circumstances and be the light that rises above and goes beyond in jesus name we pray amen this is dr pearl john signing off the other 167 see you next friday for the next episode where i share with you practical ways of getting on top of adversity keep watching and keep sharing with your friends and family god bless